Yeah, drops of Jupiter. The blue sensor is uh, active. Okay, if you uh, set the knife on the porch there where we can grab it again. Zoom in for a set. Coming in. So, <coughs> zoom in a little more. Um, right there by the white ring. Yeah, where that's it's the choked. choked part. Pull yeah. that out. If you try and grab that and hand it to the magnum. Okay. Let me come out. Uh, oh, no, it's all right. Before you do that, yep. grab the, see in the bubble cam where it's going around on top of the bags? Mm -hmm. Grab that and flick it over to the left. This loop? Yeah. little bit but <laughs> bubbles your friend there for the Out with you. Yeah, come, come out. Okay, hold that for a second. Holding. So we get it in the bottom of the jaws. On the bottom two fingers. Bubbles your friend. <coughs> You'll have to come out and go in lower, I think. Like this. One kiss. Oh, okay. We need just need just a loop in the two fingers there. Lower still. Or I can come up a bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it can let go. And then uh, six inches Ooh. at a time, the other two that are going around the ring slowly pull that out. Because the bags are under it. 
<laughs> it might come around. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna make some thanks to Thank bubbles, we're gonna make some crunching sounds on the comms. <laughs> Should we hit? Yeah, now if you can get, uh, it'd be nice if you could get both pieces there where they're coming out to the right. I'm going to grab the pieces you were just pulling out and oh. grab both of them. So see in bubble where the two exit the ring on the right side? Yep. I'm going to grab both of those and then I'll let go and you can pull it out, out of the rings. See it in the HD camera. Let's get both of those in the jaw. I think we're good. Got him. Okay, letting go. and put back in the uh, jaw. We can find it. There's a little pigtail there. there um i'm gonna open just yeah there you go okay i am locked um still partial zoom so you want to rotate that Clockwise, 90 degrees. Clockwise, Roger. <coughs> yeah, we want the blade down. <coughs> okay. So my understanding is we needed extra beads grab it, today? Grab it again. Yeah, I'll we'll grab it again and then we'll roll it right 90 degrees. And I think we sent some overboard with a beacon. got kicked off the back deck. <laughs> they were walking the plank. You got it there. Yep. That should do it. Too much, too much quiet. Oh. I'm laughing at my own jokes now. Uh, Let me just come out. I'll go back in again. Somewhat. I think you gotta roll left. 
just a little. Yeah, out towards the end of the jaws just a little more. Perfect. Okay, I'm locked. Alright, uh, I think we can, we can grab three of those at once, that'd be great. Alright. You can grab them by the throat if you don't want to deal with the rings, but I don't really want to do it. Alright, here we go. Still partial zoom. Alright, can I go wide there? Coming out. I'll swing those to your right a bit for yep. us. Well, that's good, thanks. <coughs> These homes are cool. Just a quick shout out to our viewers in the United States, Canada, Australia, Vietnam, Guam, and the United Kingdom. Thanks for hanging out with us. We have. Which one was it, Renny? I lost the plot. Oh, Ranch, thanks. Oh, yeah. Dan, actually, I forgot to tell you. Someone wrote in the other day and said they that, uh, hey, I've lost the plot. They're going to turn that into a t shirt to <laughs> quote you. <laughs> That's going to be the next Nautilus swag. Lost the plot. <laughs> Always the arrow, never the archer. So you want to uh, Danism. lift those up just a little bit so I don't touch the wide one on my line? I missed that one, Jake. What's another Danism? Always the arrow, never the archer. Ooh. I like it. Hello. Seen a lot of those red tinafores. Yeah. There's a name for those. I forget what it is. Red tinafore. <laughs> I think the red tinafore. It's a dragon, some voracious predator. Let me see if I can find it. Or maybe I'll just hail Megan. She knows all sorts of cool facts. If you call it the wrong thing, somebody's bound to tell you what it really is. No, our north pointing marker is not it's quite a sea north. Pig. Crash landing. Is it a comb, maybe? Comb Actually, yes, I just saw that in yeah. Adelana's view, like literally two minutes ago. This one? Yeah. Tina Four comb jelly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the red one. The red one. A tort. Oh, let's see what. <sighs> that was a three bag landing. All right, you can set two of them. I set them all down, but one. So just I'm getting iridescent red tinafore. Hey, Dan was right. Also known as a sea gooseberry. Oh. Or a sea walnut. You get the gooseberry, but not so much the walnut. Tinafore is Greek for comb bearer. And the combs are referring to are actually cilia. 
which propel them or, or help them move through the water. Pretty cool. They have a cool refractive uh, property where our lights get uh, reflected back to us at different wavelengths. And so it looks like they have these cool rows of LEDs yeah. along, along the side of them, but it's, it's really our lights, not theirs. Some bubble help there. Oh, pilot cams. You can see what you're doing with the arm. I'm going to turn off the uh, down lights. Oh, that doesn't help for the pilot cam. I'm going to turn them back on. Oh, and our, for our viewer in Wales, hello. I think uh, our data comes in and it lists you in the United Kingdom. But I acknowledge that you are in Wales. Thank you. Can't see the knife. <laughs> oh, I don't know about you, but I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> a darn thing, sorry. Dollar in a jar. Looks like we're facing into it, maybe. This lighting, it looks like uh, the ROV just went back 10 years in evolution. Always wanted to stab something with the Magnum. in slow oh. motion. Okay, yeah. light's coming up. Uh, let me, uh, I think I'm going to swing just left, left so we're over the thingy. Oh, well, I stabbed it. I'll just follow you. You're yeah. already in? Yep. Right, might as well cut. You All can right. then move it over. Would it work if you just stabbed the bag on top of that post? Yeah. Like, use the weight of it to just kind of pierce it? That too yeah. small of a hole. Too small. Good idea. Depends on how long you want to wait. <laughs> Maybe we can have these, uh... OCN guys uh, put a zipper in the bottom of it with a pull string. Yeah, get fancy. Well, fancy it, bags for the. It would. It would doesn't need to be a, a zipper. Not a zipper, but just like a piece of monofilament reeved in between with a pull string on it. Yeah, kind of like when you get bags of rice. Exactly. Yeah. Another. I cut it good enough. Just hold it with the magnum. Just grab the grab the hook. We'll get the engineering Stop team on it. Stop it a couple more times if you want. Could save a lot of hassle in the future. Then you don't get to watch this quality programming. <laughs> Can't make it too easy for the pilots. I don't know. I'm always pretty impressed. Uh, we definitely make it look easier than it actually is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you get the arm, you get the armchair quarterbacks chiming in from home. Do it this way. It's like, well, you come out here and do it. it. You, you can. <laughs> it was pretty tense. One of our last dives at Endeavor when you were doing the. 
it was that seismometer and it kept flipping up because of the floats and oh God. I don't think I talked for two hours. That never happens. <laughs> oh. Yeah, the uh, front row was a little on edge after that one. That was, that was, the that knife. was pretty intense. I got a stubby. <laughs> All right, put it over the <laughs> case on. Oh, I thought it was a knife. Oh, I guess. Oh, the knife. Just I thought I saw something shiny fall. Oh, missing. Oh no. running downhill that way so you'll have to start piling it on the uphill I think you can tell what's level now well I don't want to bury the cable I think anyways Jake so you can okay Well, I'm trying to figure out who is messaging and asking Danny about NinjaFlex. Maybe they should message in and ask me who messaged about that because I do not have a message about that. What is NinjaFlex? I would love to know. NinjaFlex, that's a type of uh, filament for 3D printers, I think? Well, someone's in here in the chat asking about if they, I got a message about it. And I'm like, no, I haven't gotten any messages. The people at NinjaFlex would like to know if Danny got the message. Yeah. <laughs> Ding. Someone else also curious about becoming an IRV pilot. We had a conversation with this one um, this morning, and, and uh, Dave was on. <laughs> yeah, and, and, in, and in typical <laughs> Dave fashion, <laughs> he said, well, you became an ROV pilot, or I was going to jail. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was quite like that. I, I don't want to sully his reputation. Or it might not even be mutually exclusive. <laughs> was it good? <laughs> Anyways, that's not truly the answer. Um, the conversation went a little bit more like everyone has a different path. Ah. We have, but uh, one thing we added for certain was the um, the mechanical side of it all, that the the pilots fly and do the the manipulation of the of the arms, but they also do all of the mechanical side of things too. The maintenance of the, the vehicles. The maintenance of yeah. the vehicles. And uh, we also mentioned the I mean, you could always go Marine to Institute. For ROV pilots, it depends if you want to do science, or if you want to just drive an ROV all mm. day, you can go into the oil patch, um, like the Gulf of Mexico in, in the U.S., oh. and they do a lot of ROV pilot training oh. academies. They're always looking for people. Um, in the research field, it's a little more involved, and convoluted. Um, a lot of times, like not always, they hire contractors who have a lot of experience, but also they bring on interns who have zero in experience. So there is the internship program at the OET. 
um, and nightoutslive.org, and you can get information about that. But I, there's many ways to become an elite pilot. It depends on what you want to do and what your specialty. Um, we mostly look for engineers, someone with an engineering background. Um, electrical engineers are very uh, popular. Uh, mechanical engineers. Marine biologists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, marine biologists, that, that too. Super strong and flexible, you should try it. Super great for your field of work. Interesting. Yeah, there's some people who make soft grippers out of the Ninja Flex uh, for like manipulator arms. Oh, neat. You hear that, Dan? We need some Ninja Flex. We have a roller Ninja Flex. Yeah, we, there's a 3D printer in the data lab, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. We print all kinds of things. We have many things on the vehicle that we've printed with that printer. Oh, neat. Such as? Well, uh, the one on Niskin pools. So oh, the balls we right. grab a hold of with the manipulator to release our Niskin bottles. Yep. Those are 3D printed. Um, the handle attachment for the suction sampler is 3D printed. We have several light brackets that are 3D printed. Um, small little bio bray atta attachments and things like that, 3D printed. Let that one uh, fill up in the back for a minute, Jake. Okay. The whole uh, so. What else do we have 3D printed on the vehicle? Probably just here? set yeah, and just set it there for a second. Uh, bottle it bracket. Out. We actually had the Ethernet bottle, which is a titanium bottle with electronics inside. It's basically a set it glorified right uh, router like you have it at home, a switch. Uh, it's attached to the vehicle with 3D printed brackets. Really? So the 3D printed material is like can withstand the pressure of these depths? Yeah, we do 100% infill and we've done quite a bit of testing with different uh, temperatures and pressures. Maybe pick it up, turn um, it around. So the safeties for the gas tanks that out. ONC uses those are 3D printed PLA. The, not the gas tight itself. No, but the safeties. The, the no, little blue. Oh, clip. right, right. The clip. Okay, so the the clip. Um, mm -hmm. So once we take a sample, right? Uh, yeah, to we prevent us from accidentally clip taking a sample. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there, uh, there's a at least one 3D printer. At the That's precision filling right there. <laughs> yeah. Nice one, Jake. Sniper. Dan, pretty pretty slow. Ch <laughs> just checking off some <laughs> uh, odds and ends here in the dive plane. Was that the last batch of bead bags that was dropped? No, there's. Oh, that was the. There's two more at the uh, from the from the drop. Two more individual bags. Yeah, two more left back oh, there. Oh, okay. Thanks. Do you need to go jump on it now? With the vehicle. Are there still t two? No, we don't do that. That's to get the case on in there. Uh, Maybe take another slice, Jake. A yep. down low slice. Do we ever find the first two that were put over the side? Ooh, uh, I might have missed that part of the dive. Yeah, okay. The two yeah, that were with the beacon. Yeah. Those we found it. Yeah, let me look back. I guess we need to pull a beacon well, off of them. Sneakers. Interesting. Well, I might have to just... Actually, I just put a some Ninja Flex on my Amazon order list. I'll have some at home when I get home. <laughs> Play around with it. So, Ed, for your reference, I have a circle and a note here. Search for deployed bead bags required for ROV ballast. Not found. Okay. Yep. Great, thanks. So if that one did have a beacon on it, I'm... It get, did not. It did not, okay. Thanks. Hence the not found. <laughs> there's always a chance that there's a beacon yeah, that I is know. not found, I guess. Yeah. That was the knife. <laughs> it's impressive we made it this far. Set that one down right there. There's
there's the uh, Green River dive knife on the Magnum. I grab it by the monkey fist if you can get around that far. This knife has been dropped, found. We it dropped spent it in the tool basket in the hinge. Yeah, it spent days at Endeavor at depth by itself in the dark. And it got caught in the tool basket by the monkey fist and came back to the deck. Just can't get rid of it. Which side's the pointy side here? Need to get a hold of Green River. Tell them we need it's a uh, wave from you right now, but I can give you a zoom and find out if you want. Oh, maybe not. Just get drop in. it into the bag. <laughs> Ready? Maybe, yes, um, pull it up a bit. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay. Well, I can't tell. It is towards us. Hold on, let me roll it. Uh, can you get on it there? Get on what? The knife. Why not rotate it? Counterclock, 90 degrees. Get parallel with it. I can rest roll a little bit more. Hold on. Ah. Not quite. Not quite. Get a better grab on it. That's a good grab. Okay, relaxing. Counterclock 90. Okay. There? Yeah, I think so. Okay, hold on. Okay. fat part. There we go. I feel like we should have pulled that knife out an hour ago. <laughs> we could have broke it an hour ago. It's a good test of your Green River Diver Knife. Well, I feel like the longer blade would have been more likely to be broken. We've just had a few more visitors join us in the last few minutes. And a quick recap. We are doing maintenance of the Ocean Networks Canada observatories in the Northeast Pacific Ocean. This is Nautilus Expedition NA-151. And we are currently trying to bury a seismometer in this, the surrounding seafloor sediment. Um, and this instrument is going to help detect oceans and help us, uh, sorry, earthquakes and help us to <laughs> understand earthquakes. Found one. What's that? <laughs> we found one. <laughs> Ocean. Some green check mark. On still yeah, left yeah. Thanks, Ed. <laughs> it was on the dive plan. <laughs> <laughs> Can't make any mistakes in this control van. 
such a high pressure workplace. Oh, it's not. Close. <laughs> Jeb, do you want the cable covered too? Yeah, that's part of the plan. I think we should go with that. Got one more back here and then two back at the drop. Yeah, they're calling for uh, the last five meters of the cable to be covered in glass beads. And, five uh, meters? That's quite generous, I think. Uh, a couple staples are in there already. And then, yeah, we'll just trail some beads off. Exactly. Shake the salt. <laughs> a nice little marker to find it next time. Yeah. Do you want us to pick that up or you want to leave it as a marker? The uh, the red and black? Yeah. What was it? Was it? No, it was a knife. It was an Ikea stick knife. <laughs> I think uh, I might have some explaining to do if we leave anything sticking up like that. Gotcha. <laughs> I, yeah. mean, I mean, it's replaceable if that's the angle you're coming from, but... <laughs> oh, yeah. There's, you can't find a knife when you go to cut your steak in the gully, you know why. Hopefully the uh, chief steward isn't listening and watching our stream because uh, that knife did ha actually come out of our gully. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you weren't supposed to give away. <laughs> Oh, I don't think he's watching. <laughs> Phallus is listening. <laughs> we, have some, uh, we have some Pops uh, fishing knives that I bought too. They're little short, stubby, thick blades. The problem with the long bladed knives is that we've already broke at least one of ONC's knives. So just I think you're the only one that called it Pops. P.O.P.? P.O.P. It's Pacific Ocean Producers. We usually pack a, a tote of I think that's pretty knives. Oh, a little bit more. That's pretty empty. I think most of our collection are the ones you get free if you buy enough groceries at hmm. Thrifty Mart. Yeah, nice. We got another nice Tina 4. It's going past the view there. Now I've kind of lost uh, track of the cable that runs under the uh, spare bag we have there, roughly. Yeah, yeah, yeah roughly. Yeah. If you want to uh, do a little housekeeping here. Well, yeah, there's exposed bag cable under the bags. So yeah. if you want to uh, grab that blue bungee loop and stick it over those bag over the... Uh, Oh, yeah. 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 And then the knife and the north marker, all the, all the housekeeping. Oh, yeah. All right. Now our public is interested in the food we eat since we're talking about steak knives. And I'll just chime in to say we are very well fed here on board. All the glass beads Two. we can eat. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, I knew that was coming. Got lots of yeah. bread and, uh, bread Come on to the left side of it, Dick. Yeah, or no. I mean the right side. This is about oh. five the different to the meal right choices. Side. We're on the top. Toward, no, towards us. Come towards the vehicle. Did and then to the right. Ex eccentric uh, collection of uh, food items. And pitch up a little, so or turn left so we can see the... Our comment is often... Oh, when okay, stop there. <coughs> when people come and sit down with their plate. Um, Where did you get, get that? Get the ring and the steak it's always in the same grab. So get the ring through the jaws and then that grab you the don't steak. See. Right. Lauren, is that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> You might have to grab the ring, put the ring in through the jaws, close the jaws, and then come up right next to the post, and uh, then open the jaws and grab the post. Okay. 
Randy, did you run into Dirk when you were down there? Put the uh, jaws I did, yeah. parallel to the okay. post. Were they uh, still figuring things out? Close your jaws, Jake. Yeah, we were talking about the timing of lowering. It oh, can turn your jaws 90 and put them right up against the post like that, and then just the open hook and slide can over the post. The hook can go down at 60 meters a minute. Oh, okay. So it'll, it can go down fast once we're in position, but we have to make sure that the ship is in a comfortable position. We're not doing too much movement, aside from fine honing it in, just like we did last night. Right. So in order to do that, I think we'd like to um, get the CTD, the seismometer, and the larval traps kind of set up beforehand. So once the hydrofoam comes up, we've already got that stuff and are able to recover yeah, too, kind of like we did last night. Oh, okay to expedite right. time on the tail end. Yeah. Um, so but that's, that takes a little, okay. a little bit of pick that mess up organizing and, uh, on the front end. Uh, so they still plan just to pick do it up and move everything. It out to the right. Yeah, the yeah. plan is to do everything and just push back the recovery then. Oh, okay. I wondered if we kind of had to hurry here with the bags or not. No, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, I don't. I think we're just going to get everything. Okay. Everything done as opposed to the, the timing, it seems. I guess the uh, longshoremen are still on strike. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's from my understanding if that's the decision, so. Right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You look puzzled, Rennie. Yeah, you, well, you, I was wondering <laughs> <laughs> what you were doing. <laughs> oh, it's way over there. There it is. It's all in the cloud. It's in the cloud? Yeah. The bags are in the cloud. With all my data? Yep. Still got a, a view of it in bubbles a bit better than... Uh, Okay, moving to the right a little bit more and stick them back in the dirt. I can't see anything. Me neither. Can't Big see push. nothing. That was Danny. I was like, what's he doing? <laughs> <laughs> I just had to. This yeah. Is you see it in bubble there. Yeah, Stick it in the dirt. Data, last thing we heard, this port was turned off. Is that right on the junction box? I think, I think yes, there. that's correct. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank I think you. It's in there. Yeah, I think so. I can't see anything now. <laughs> and I did let go. Close your eyes and go like this. <laughs> 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 Gotta watch out for that cable, right? Just use your stick as a walking stick. Oh, come on. Do you recall, was it powered down just uh, as a precaution while we were handling it and getting it into the case on? Yes, we powered it down because we hadn't it quite in the final position. Yeah. Okay. Martin on shore is asking if uh, we're ready to power it up again. I think we're fine. I see that John is just typing to us now, so we'll hang on and see what he has to say. Sorry, I came up higher than I needed to. Oops, I'm pressing the wrong button. 
that's why I'm not going down. Yeah, it sounds like that's what we'll do. We got everything plugged in. Uh, you can request the shore power on the proper port on the JB. Will do. Thank you. This is back over by the straps. Exactly where the, how many we have left? One, two. Two, two bags. I do forget from time to time that there are folks on shore hanging out waiting for us to <laughs> let them know what to do. So I appreciate the reminder, Martin. Thank you. Can't see that pilot cam from over here. Are we going to be able to fit the straps and the larval traps in the starboard bio? I don't know. Can you come down a bit, Dick? Oh, yeah. Hold that, hold that. You hold can it. pin them to the porch or put your jaws horizontal so they don't fall out. Good, okay. Above the porch, you make Can lift them up just a little bit.
Hey, Dan. Yep. Um, so what we want to do is um, I hear from Jeb that the seismometer itself has been buried. It's looking good. So we just want to put a few staples in and then that's good for covering the cable. You don't want a beanbag. Well, no, we can put these beanbags on the cable at least. We got them here. We're worried about having it because it's another prominent feature. So I think we should go and put them closer oh, to the aux platform. Oh, so you don't want to empty these? No, we don't need to empty it. These are just spares. So the, the cable management will do with uh, staples. Roger. Well, I'm going to run these over then. We'll come back and get this Yeah, stuff. okay. The rest of the stuff. And really then we're just looking for stapling the high spots that aren't lying flat on the sediment. This cable is actually doing a really good job of managing itself. Normally they're all slinkied. Or there's normally loops in the seismom or in the Titan cables. The Titan ones are always, <laughs> you put a staple in and you're like, I don't know what this is doing. Yeah, it forces the other end up. I think they got memory. But that strapping's actually good because I don't know what the black cable is, but the black cable has no memory on it. It's like rubber. Yeah. I've a bit lost the plot on the aux platform. It should just be, just be west of this by like okay, 15 that's where meters Dan's going. or 17 meters or something. Yeah. He's he has the plot. Yeah, he's got it right I've there. I've lost the plot. There it is. It's just our targets have changed. So. <coughs> yeah. I want to dangle those down in front of us. We're just going to drop them here by the platform. Yes, yeah, some so, so we have weights in the future. Because we'll always be swapping these. We can dangle them straight down, and as soon as they touch, let go. We also still have to turn this battery back on, as well. There's another job. Do you want to do that now, or you want to wait till we get the other bag and uh, stuff over in here? In whichever order, doesn't okay. matter. Get the other stuff. Should we recover our knife? Yeah, I'll have to get that, the north marker in this trash. Yeah. Um, you want to reach down and I'll come down a little closer and I can just do a flying grab. And Dirk, just to clarify, so we have these bags, the empty bags, we have the straps, we have the larval traps, and then that's that plus the seismometer and the CTD seems like too much, right? Just grab, Jake. Don't lift up, okay? Okay, hold that. Um, uh, too much for it. Uh, just uh, where is it all going? Are we taking the empties up or are we taking the straps up? I know the larval traps are coming back, right? So the things that have to come back up are, like, at a minimum, would uh -huh. be the larval traps, the, there's a the CTD, uh -huh. the broadband. So coming we came down meters. with a CTD and a broadband. Right. Yep. But then also um, th there's a beacon on the ground as well. So the beacon, CTD, and two larval traps have to come up. Okay. It's kind of seeming like strap and empty bags are... Well, we if we, if we can't do anything with them, um, we can either put them here with that extra north marker and just kind of pin them here to near this platform or we can go take them closer to the IP if we're able to. 
It's just, can we fly with the straps to the IP? I don't know. Fast follow up to you where you want to put it. I was just thinking about the room in the box as it seemed like not. Yeah, the north marker we, we can um, leave either here or by the IP. We don't need to bring that up. Not this time, because we've got so much junk. Is the DC bender off? Yeah, I turned it off earlier. Okay, you can dangle that one down and let it go. Down a bit, for me. Yep, coming up. You know what you gotta do here? Uh, I lost the plot. Uh, unhook the, or lift the strap thingy up. Doesn't look like it's hooked on anything now. And then rotate that battery. Unfortunately, the bungee that's supposed to hold it up, you're gonna have to wrestle with it because it just kind of falls back down. It doesn't hold it up, so it's kind of a tricky operation. Okay. That blue bungee in the back. Oh. Normally this thing kind of opens itself. Maybe you can hook the bungee around the left point. Like it won't stay open if you lift it, it'll just fall back down. blue bungee go underneath in the front there and yeah plop that thing out of your way as you go up what you're going for see the red handle in the back yeah so just put your wrist under that and boing it out of the way yeah that's exactly it um you might have to do it you're gonna get the red handle underneath so you're gonna have to hold it out of the way with the arm while you make the grab The problem is it's not going to stay up, it's yeah. just going to fall down. you got to go under it, Jake, and just use the arm to hold it out of the way while you use your forearm or your wrist or something. 
go in there from like uh -oh. in the green grade in the very front here. Let's put your jaw under it. Get it up high enough to get in there. there is what you're going for. Derek just heard from John that the current meter came online. The BPR did not. Okay. Kind of what we expected. There's also here the monkey's fit or the the it pucks if this doesn't work. You gotta, you're gonna have to come up more. Jake, you might need to snag grab. that bolt on top and just rotate it over. There's nothing holding it down. The top of you, on top of that can. That's a grab there. Almost. Just open your jaws a little and you'll be able to get it. I think you gotta come more straight down on it. Okay. Swing the arm to the right just a little bit. Now you can. Now you should be able to get it. Just a little too close to the bottle. Give that little edge of the rubber. <laughs> that point actually. Your yeah, right jaws on the. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Swing the arm to the right just a little bit. That's with right. I think you got it there. I think you can go. I can just bash it around with the closed jaw. So it's got to go full 180. Yeah. There we go. Good work. And now close we, it with we the still want to close it, yeah. With this loop here? Yeah, yeah it's got a little monkey's fist on there. The loop goes on the bolt. side and grab the uh, come out of there and then sneak in this way on the right side and grab the please fail please fail halt fail We're a little close to be doing this. That's it. Yeah, good work. Okay, sweet. We're done here then. So, a couple more staples on that end of that cable. We're done with this spot here. The uh, green hair 
every knife. Grip the knife. And if you grab it by the monkey fist, you can dangle it onto the magnet. We'll swing it right a bit. Got it. Opening. I'll bring the shoulder down. Hold up. Um, the rest of our staples are in the porch here. Get one at a time if you want, or you can get them all. Might as well just get one, you got it there. Got a 26 meter delta. Right here. This staple. That first spot right there, I think, is the first. Right there at the green? Yeah. Right. Just because it's sticking up that slight little bit. I think we have one right there. the arm like this, you'll be able to staple away. Towards us just a little. There's three cables there. Here? Yeah, that's pretty good. I think you got all, the, all of them now. Yeah, I think so. So 
Say when. I keep going. That's good. Oh. Uh, stopped it. <clears throat> Is there, are there any other spots stick right there? if you want. Yeah, maybe stick one right there. <laughs> this is going to be a annoying one to recover. This is some big staples. And then after that, I think it kind of will just bury itself again in no time. It's lying pretty flat. So Jeb, are you aware, they're mostly worried about vibration along the cable tra traveling to the seismometer or is it actually inducing some kind of noise? I believe it's vibration picking up current. Yeah, so I, I think the first few staples are doing most of the work. I agree with that. Of course. You grab the shiny one so by the top. So maybe there. one more where it's most prominent. Yeah. Shiny one? Um, you grab the shiny one by the top maybe? It's warranted. Yeah, I think one more and then we're probably good for the staples as well. I think I'm comfortable with that. Can grab it. Here, maybe. Good crap. Wow. Good Ooh. tension there. Martin's just about to head off. He says, thanks for all your hard work. We're doing great. And uh, yeah, he's happy with uh, another staple. And then we'll get some photos. And I think that wraps up the broadband installation. Nice wrist twitch. It's good. Happy scientist, it's good to hear. Let go of it there and re grip. That's a little more. Oh, free fill. <laughs> Judo chop. <laughs> <laughs> That was not intended. What game is that from? Good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great work. Um, so what we want to probably want to cover recover some of this garbage around here. Yeah, we we'll get our broken knife and our. <laughs> Not quite north pointing pointer. <laughs> the off, off north, off axis. Yeah, it looks great. You can hardly tell the cables there.
getting some pictures before this because I don't know if we're gonna once we start collecting all this junk I don't think we'll have a bunch of good options for pictures yeah this is a good shot and then as we back up maybe one that shows the clean site a little bit of the cable okay yeah clean site too if we have the presence of mind to snap one after the bags are gone yeah, as long as I can see but I mean the still camera is pretty good for um, overhead views kind of yeah, yeah even if the porch is pretty cluttered we generally don't see too much what's the uh, the straight bit there on the left just on the left side of the mound that's, that's the north, point north marker. marker oh gee that's the it's east, well, i see east, both ends of it now. east pointing north marker yeah. <laughs> uh, it's kind of pointing north yes, north yeah i, I guess. didn't realize they were both parts of the same thing you can grab that that was the other one that Ready fell out that was zip tied to the, to the magnum to the garbage stables? collector, yeah. Oh, the collector. yeah. Okay. If you can reach it, I think you can reach it. Right to the right there by the sand. Oh, this? Good. Yeah. Just don't dig too deep in case the connectors are there. I don't know exactly where the connectors are. Oh, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, the question is, Dan, um, things we want to take back to the IP would be the bead bags, scraps, um, All right. the seismometer, and potentially the straps. Do you think we can fly with that stuff? Nope. Can we use this north marker to pin the straps? Sure. I was going to, uh, where, how far is the IP? About 50 meters ish. From here, actually, a lot further than that, probably. Now, look, I have a better idea. Uh, yeah, about six, 50 or 60. I really don't want to touch the straps, but I, we can. If we can pin them. At least that's something. Oh, pin them to the seabed? Just do the seabed so they don't go drifting off. Roger. And then we can figure out a better way to recover them down the line. Those are up here at this one. I mean, I can drag them backwards as long as they're out in front of the vehicle, but as soon as we touch them in the mud, I won't be able to see anything, so. Yeah, I mean, if we, as long as we have a good mark of where they are, and then we'll just secure them like this, but I can't see how we can recover everything we need to recover on this dive. No. We've got yeah. that seismometer. Whatever fits in the box on the seismometer, that's about it. Mm -hmm. CTD seismometer larval traps. Yeah. I don't know how they I think they went down with the seismometer and the CTD, but I don't know how they rigged that. They were both on the porch. Yep. Porch. At least there'd be no cables on the porch. They'd be dangling down below. Well, I usually hold the connectors and then pin the. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hold the connectors in one hand and. Seismometer in the other. Yeah, trying to fly with these, they'll wind up in the Yeah, would have a future rig would be good to do a belly to a um, to a shock above the releases so they stay with the wire. Yeah. Can yeah, I can get a little leash check. Pardon? Can we can shove these in the toolbox. Um Dan, if we're done with the front toolbox, can these go in there, or is that not an option? No, that with the viz and dragging these around, um, it's uh, one last thing, Dirk. The beacon that know. came down with these. Yeah. Which beacon? 
Uh, did, did, was there a beacon that came down? There is a beacon that came down, but it's at the just, IP uh, next to the CTD. Roger. Scoop just checking it. on the location. Close of the your grounds and hold it. Okay, grab that ready rod and stab it right there in the middle. You can see why I'm reluctant to try and put these in the box. So from your top view, you can kind of see a nice spot where you're definitely getting the loops. Because these infinity loop ones. Um, if you grab closer to the magnum, maybe. You can tell which side you're. If you're actually catching it, or if it's a loop, open loop. Can't tell. I would say if you a little bit closer to the vehicle, right there. There. Yeah, probably get there. I think I can see at least one that you're. Uh, you're yep, definitely right there. catching to there. Yeah. Can we mark these on the map, please? Can do. Ready? Can do. That's good there. Don't not too deep, otherwise they might come off. That's good. Thank you. If they weren't already in the mud, maybe. But the next one would be the empty bags. And that's going to have to go near the um, auxiliary platform where we left the broadband. So if we can javelin so that in there. here and then going to there. Yeah. <coughs> Auxiliary platform, not the one we just plugged the seismometer into? Yeah, that's the auxiliary, yeah. All right. It doesn't have to be right there. It can be where we left the seismometer, just because there's an aqua current sensor there, so maybe where the old seismometer is, we'll stick it in there before we pick it up. Sorry, where's the old seismometer? It's just north of the auxiliary platform. Okay. Maybe slightly northeast or northwest, but mostly north, like a couple of three meters or four meters or so. I'm grabbing them. Can't even tell where the thing was buried anymore. Do you want them by the platform or by the old seismometer? Because they're going to. Old seismometer, yeah. Uh, and then we're going to pick up the old seismometer? Yeah. Well, if we. They're going to wreck the viz, so we put them by the platform would be. Uh, Right, well, we can put them anywhere. It's just by the platform. There's a current sensor. So really oh, anywhere I see. I see. Fine. I see. All right. We can drop them before, too. It's a pretty easy thing to come and get later. It can't go anywhere. Yeah. Um. 
We're going to have to pin him before we go, right? You mean bungee it? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, is yeah. it not bungee Well, I can just grab the rod and the bungee, right? Yeah, you can do that again. <coughs> you can try getting the bungee over, but... Yeah. Probably going to rip out. It's going to be a hard... You want to do it, otherwise they can't escape, but it's going to be hard on the ground. It's, it's, gonna, it's pretty tough by hand, so... I don't know. I got some stills, Jeb. Right on, thanks. But, uh... We'll have lots of video. Yeah. Loads. That's a lot, this thing's really big. Okay. Quick. Where we lose this? <laughs> Maybe it's, a two well, it's a sandstorm coming in. race against time. <laughs> you got it? Okay, just hold it, because I'm on the bags. Got a good grab? Yep. Okay, hold what you got, mate. Ox platform is to the west. Yeah, okay, he didn't want to put it there. For yeah, where's so the seismometer? Is near it? Or it's very near it, to yeah. the right, Jake? Yep. There. You can. You'll, we'll see it. At, we'll see them at the same time. It's the white cable that we're gonna see. There, that cable there, the loop back cable. How about I put them halfway in between? Yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna wreck the vis if we gotta pick that thing up. You mean halfway in between the seismometer and the ox, or? Or you want it <laughs> off to the? We yeah, can put yeah. them off to the north. Yeah, that works. <laughs> Can I just talk through this broadband seismometer pickup? Okay. So we plan to pick that up. Yeah. Bring it near the hydrophone, set it back down. Uh, um, if you we first, because part of the, that's a good suggestion, because part of it is we want to first go see the hydrophone. Right. Before we send the wire down. Uh-huh. Um, in but other I words, having like the CTD it. and no, the si what we and we want to do is we want to stage the. Uh, okay, let's just think about okay, that. Stop a minute. We need to know whether there's going to be need to be a ship move or not. That's the biggest thing. Uh, so I think let's go to the IP and put it with the rest of the stuff. Okay, and then so you've. I know earlier we had talked about. You were trying to do that all before we did the hydrophone, but at this point we're going to do the hydrophone and then have to go back to the IP to collect all the okay, stuff. Is that good. correct? Put a mark here, right? The what we were we'll trying do. to see is whether we can work on that stuff while the line is in the water or not. That's the main thing. Well, here's here, the other thing is when you say work on that stuff, you mean it's all going to be on the porch? We're going to be flying around with that and then grabbing the pink hook and hooking it? Is that what you're thinking? I'm hoping to be able to have it ready to go and then as the thing come as the um, hydrophone comes up after the hookup, we can just pick them up and follow the hydrophone up. Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. Um, it's whether we can move the ship when the hydrophone's in the water. So it depends where we got to stage this stuff. Yeah, I understand what you're saying. I don't know that it's... Hmm. Coming up. I'm coming back down. I'm just about to clean off here a bit. I don't see a. Uh, oh, I've got it on my phone. Circle. I think if that's your aim, then staging them nearby the hydrophone, everything we that we're going to eventually need to pick up. That'll be the way to go. Staging it near the hydrophone. That way we hook the hydrophone, we follow it up. Yep. It goes away, we come back down, 
we don't have to move the ship. Okay. We get everything and then go up. Okay, that makes sense. So what we'll do then is we'll s pick up and store the larval traps as part of that. So we're done with them. We'll store okay. the beacons yep. and we're done with that. So yep. we just have the two other things to pick up at the end. Okay, and, and we'll, we'll, put, we'll bring those to the hydrophone. Yeah, and it's just this, the, the only thing is the sooner we can get the line in the water. So Roger. we'll have to see once we're there what how it looks like. Okay. So f then f first thing is get the larval traps and the beacon and stow them. Yes. Okay. So, but I, I'm trying to figure out where we want to put this um trying to figure out where to put this broadband so our plan would be to likely put it closer to the hydrophone it right from the start yeah I think let's do that then but that is okay and then there's less to drag over it's quite cluttered by the IP do we have a rough idea in the order of operations on when we'll need deck boss there's a picture if you guys want to that's what we're trying to figure out now Ed. copy that's uh as left Thanks, Dan. Yeah, we can oh, snap yeah, one of that. Oh, yeah, that's it. Sorry. Oh, yeah, thanks. thanks, Dan. Let me get this stuff out of the frame now. Hold on. Yeah, you'd really have to convince someone that there's anything there. What's that? Oh, I said you'd really have to convince someone that there's anything there. Yeah. Uh, okay, I got some good ones there. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, yes, Ed, I was thinking about that as, as far as getting the deck boss. I have a timeline for that as well. Yeah, that's what we're trying to do. So so we pick up the BBS. Or we the take it, yeah, we take the pick up the BBS, take it over to the hydrophone, because there's not anything that we can really snag the cables on over there. Okay. And then we go back to the IP, mm -hmm. pick up the all traps, beacon, and CTD, mm -hmm. and take that over there as well, and then hopefully... Once we do the broadband seismometer drop off, we can decide whether we can start lowering the hook before we do the other pickups or not. Okay, just based on distance to the IP, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, with having to move the ship, but let's do the BBS first. Yeah. Unless it happens to be closer to the IP than the, the diagram. Things if we can still do small ship moves with the wire, then I don't know. Yeah, I'll try to place it in the best position and sort that. <coughs> so that's a good spot for the feed bags. So maybe if you can annotate that, Ulrike as well. I have that. Oh, you have in that here, spot? Do you, if you need it, or okay. Sure. Uh. Yeah, I'm looking here at the site layout, and in between us and the hydrophone, there's really not too much. As long as we kind of fly relatively low and watch the seabed, there shouldn't be anything really just to get snagged on with a cable dangling. to the magnum and then uh, we'll okay. deal with the pick up two connectors. Two connectors. One arm. Oh wait, you got that. Okay. 
This on the side looks like methane ice or something. Uh, I think I gotta get a little bit of small jaws so it won't fit in the big jaws. Magnum's starting to remind me of a tortoise. Yep. Eating a piece of cactus. It had tortoise eyes on it at one time, but Dr. Ballard didn't like that. <coughs> you wanna <laughs> give me a little help there? Yep. Dan, I'm gonna somebody, somebody didn't like it. I'm gonna move Argus on your whenever you say we're good here. Um, there will be a little bit of lag, but move it from here to around here, which will be close to the hydrophone array we can stake out. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. eventually we'll have to revisit the IP, but for now we're gonna put the BBS somewhere up here near the hydrophone once we locate it. Oh. Right, right Just remember that connector is really shallow to that handle. Right. It. So at, an, at a, at a non-level pickup you might run into it. Yeah, rotate your wrist left a little. What do I want? Oh, you can see it. Uh, bubble cam's your friend. I'm gonna swing away a little, I think. There you go. And I have any wrist up. That's it. Soon. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad spot for like a judo chop. <laughs> so yeah. if you pick up the green one and huck it on the porch and then pick up the orange one and pin the green one. The green one down here? Yeah. You can pick it up by the rubber there. The rubber over here? Yeah. to the right, maybe, other way. Yeah, You're just going on the porch? Yeah, just throw it on the porch. Are you okay if I call that ship moving mm. now? It's going to yep. take a while. Yep. And then the... Uh, Bridge nav. Yeah. Paddle there. I'll do Good evening. Could we step six five meters bearing three one five? Thank you. Yeah, so the question with the deck crew would be whether we can move from hydrophone to IP while the wire is coming down. Get a gross grab on that one if you want, does it matter? Maybe rotate 180 counterclockwise, and or clockwise, either way. Watch, just watch your porch there. You're on your porch. Rotate a little more, Jake. There we go. Stuff it in front of the green one there. Perfect. Pin it. Okay, so we'll be, as long as we can see the bottom, it's probably fine to drag the loop, or we can come up higher. Either or. How long is the cable? This cable is 20 meters overall, but 
That includes the bundle on the instrument there. Right. So it's about 10 meters then with the loop? Yeah, yeah, it's probably 10 meters to be safe from the ground they right now. Come up 10, Jake. Coming up 10. Where am I going? North? Yeah. I'm moving the ship 315. We expect it to, to be somewhere over there, but we don't know exactly. So where is it? the northernmost purple point is where we're tr expecting. But once we get up there, we'll want to probably come down just so we don't accidentally catch the hydrophone with the or land too near it, I guess. Yeah, once we're once we're kind of approaching it, we can come down because, yeah, exactly. We don't want to snag it. I want to snag it, and then we'll know where it is. Yeah, we'll just wrap the <laughs> we'll cover it all. Who needs hooks? titanium ball all <laughs> up in it? Send the whole mess home. <laughs> What's the length of the ship move, Bernie? Sixty-five meters. Okay. Three one five. Six, eight. Um, and then they were estimating, Dirk, that it could go down at 60 meters a minute, the uh, hook. Yeah. yeah. That's the winch can't do that. I don't know. I'm that's what they were saying. Okay. So then it'll, it won't be too long down, but then the up will be. <coughs> the limiting on the time on the tail end is the ROV recovery, not really the hydrophone, as we saw the other night. Um, so... What's that, 60 meters a minute? 26. So 45 minutes. Yeah, I'm just gonna take an hour to get Mike up. That's half hour call out. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm trying to um, time. So once we get once we get visual on the hydrophone, we'll know hopefully how, if we can get to it, to and from it in the IP without having to do major ship moves while they got a hook in the water, but. <coughs> yeah, I mean, as long as we can just, yeah, I don't know. You good for a spell, Jake? I think they added a clump to the hook can as I well, hit the head so it's a little more yeah. heavy. I got it too. <laughs> yeah, is that rigged up back there? The clump? Um, or at least ready to go. They said it's ready-ish to go, but there's quite the setup, right? So they gotta get the crane up, the winch. Yeah, it's at least through. a half an hour. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, yeah. once we're setting this down and visualize the hydrophone, I'll get Mike. Because we'll still have to go back to get the CTD and the larval traps, but that's like easily. Well, that could be it's, it's all of the, all those. Yeah. We might be able to do it while we're doing it, like I said, but we gotta see where the ship ends up and moving to the IP while the hook's in the water as well. We're all going to be on the this side of it, and that's going to be over there, so I think we'll be all right. No. Yeah, at the latest, I think we're an hour out, because either we can't move it, then we go get that stuff first. Yep. Or we do it right away. So an hour, no, definitely no longer than an hour maybe very much sooner than that. Yeah, so once we get to the site, once we locate the hydrophone, I'll get Mike. Is that hydrophone, uh yeah. Is so that a legit target? It's no. It's, it's not our target. It's our best. It's theirs. So, but we've been. Uh, All right, I'm just gonna the, come down and yeah. see if I can it's light it up. It's about three meters tall, so just be aware. Roger. And it's just a single pole sticking up. Oh, like it's not one of those triangle guys. No, it's a, like a javelin. Ooh. It's a it's a vertical array, so it's a yeah it's a triangle, very big. It's a solid steel tar tripod at the base. Maybe like a meter tall, meter and a half wide, like pretty hefty, and then uh, just the pole sticking up. Right. But there should also be a 70 meter oily back, like folded back on itself, um, all kind of in that proximity. 
I see it. I think I see it. Got it in the, uh, in which one? Sea King? Yeah, maybe. Couple targets up ahead. What else would be up there if there's a couple targets? Let me see. I don't think so. um, uh -huh. there'll be the hydrophone array. And where are we right now? On that screen. That Ready, where's the IP on that screen you've got there? Somewhere in this vicinity here. Where, oh, down there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we sh there shouldn't really be anything yeah. else around here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. According to this diagram, anyways. This cable. So is oh, this cable yeah. going to it? Um, let's see. That's a red cable. Yeah. Uh, facing north? No, it should be an oily. It shouldn't be this. We're facing north right now. Yeah. Mm. Okay, zero four so five zero four five. Okay, so this cable goes to a media converter can that's really low on the ground. So we want to just be to the as long as we're to the east of this cable, we shouldn't be running over anything. Do you, is the media converter of, east of the hydrophone yeah. or it's west of the hydrophone? On the diagram I have, it's um, quite far to the east of it still. Right okay. Like I don't know, like I would say. Tough to say. Not very far, like 10 meters. So if I come north here, I should hit it? Yeah, That's if you come see. north there, you should be in the general direction. It should be on your left, though, at any given time. The as as media converter or the hydrophone? The hydrophone and the media converter, both. I'll just follow the cable to me. It's due east of the... If you follow this north, um, it should eventually dogleg to your left. So. It, whereas the hydrophone cable key would be north of this. Right. It. They don't go to the same spot. Uh, I had a hint of the cable there do it anymore. I don't have any sonar targets, so... That should be Our offset may have it a little bit w more western, but that's it's hard to say. That should be fairly a fairly obvious target. And from here you're Oh. <laughs> that could be it. Atalanta's still coming. Gotcha. Oops, I changed my heading too much. Rookie mistake. Both connectors still, yeah, they're still on the porch, right? It's best I can tell. Yeah, there yep. they are. There's a the hydrophone. Yep. Yeah, that's it there. Okay, we can drop this mess here then. Yep. All right. It's going to be wrecked behind us for about two days. <laughs> <laughs> Not, we're not going back to this mess. We're just going to the IP, so I think I will reset the DVL. So, Roger. yeah, as soon as we... So, the hydrophone's in front of me. Roger. Uh, five meters, six meters. Roger, something like that. Something like that. Uh -oh. Okay, barf those cables off. Yeah. Oh, I turned it off. thought it was off. Let me know if you want to zoom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this still gives you, some, gives you something for now, but not of that manipulator. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's great. Right there. Thanks for the help. Oh, but, oh. 
Good night, sir. Yeah, rid of that stuff yet? No, uh, one of them. Let's Get help. it off me. Get it off me. <laughs> uh, I can see the, the broadband's on the ground. Oh, you might be landing on it if you go down here. I'm not going down. Coming okay. Up. Awesome. We're out of there. All right, so if that's the hydrophone, mm -hmm. I think get we that other connector off the porch. Oh, or I'll pull it off. Let's wonk, wonk it. Oops. I know what you're getting at, Dirk. Um, yeah. I'm going to have to discuss. Get off me. I'm going to check with Dan. Wonk it. He doesn't <laughs> want it. You got it in the Zeus. Broke. <laughs> <laughs> Running out of time. You can't get rid of them when you don't want to. Oh. Okay. Shoe fly. Yeah. Shoe fly. That was okay, a part do we want to inspect the hydrophone? I'm going to get off the T box there. Just, you know, milking it. Did you want to inspect the hydrophone while we're here? I think so. Or that's what we're going to hook up to. So. Give us some uh, delta there. Oh, yeah. But I think we should make this decision on the. Wire. Yeah, okay, so I'll wait till Dan's settled and I'll discuss the situation. Bad Argus pilot. I'm settled. Dan, you want me to see if I can dredge up uh, Danny for you? No, that's all right. You're all right? Let's uh, me stow the hop in. Oh, yeah, you can hop in. We'll stow the uh, dredge. Yeah. I think we're done with that. Have I racked in? No. Please. <laughs> grab, 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 grab. <laughs> oh, porch out. I can find the right button. Oh, just missed. Still going up. That's good. Uh, shove it in there a little further. I don't think it was going in anymore. Yep, well. Okay. Well, so you're going to have to be careful to keep your arm on the inside of it now? Yep. Look at the hydrophone. Should be back to your yeah, on your came up to let the viz clear. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then we need to discuss ship positioning and whether or not we can lo start to lower the hook once I move a little closer to the IP. If we've got enough leash and honing it in and all that stuff.
think I see it. I think I see it. Yeah, that linear. There you go. Still viz, still wrecked for days. There's supposed to be something else around here. It's just its cable. You want to come down a bit now, Jake? Yep, coming down. So, this hydrophone, right? Oily. Is the oily all packaged up here, or is it's it just folded back? It's been disconnected and folded back towards this thing. Okay. So, in other words, lifting it up isn't going to jeopardize where we put the BBS, right? That Whatever. might solve. No, it shouldn't. Okay. Um, I gotta go for a yeah. mile break before yeah. I can concentrate. <laughs> I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of the things we want to do here is zoom in on the lifting point just to make sure that it okay. hasn't been corroded or compromised. There's a few things we can look at once a after this. We, there's a couple other things as well. Jake, we keep in like a 35 meter delta. I'm Are good with that. Fine? Yep. Keep an eye on that for you. Yeah, we're pretty much right above it. Okay, so it seems that the cable is then flaked out almost to the south. Yeah, towards the IP there. Okay. So and you want to zoom in on this right here? Yeah, kind of right on in that section Coming there. Out. Okay. I'm just looking for like obvious corrosion of those welds. Do we and is the pink hook gonna fit in that bale, or you have another plan? Um, well, if we can't go in the bale, we can Zoom put in there it on that. That Roger. Looks yeah. like that, we might be able to take that line out. I think the pink hook will fit. Gonna hold there. Trying Alternatively, to get we can hook into you. that there you go. steel strop. Yeah, that might be. I just don't. It seems like the pink hook is pretty thick for that. That's a. Uh, I don't know what diameter that pipe is. I think it's like two inch at least pipe. I'm so I'm guessing that gap in. is two inch by yep. four inch or two inch by three inch. So yeah. probably. Okay. Does it look like we could take that cable out of there if we had to? Yeah, but I think we I'm might. Sure we don't want to do that because we might need that cable to, yeah. to lift it. Yeah. Maybe hook that cable, yeah. I don't know. Just to make it a little longer on deck. Um. The next Can thing, there's a plate down here, like where the pole turns into tripod, that we might want to check out as well. A plate. Yeah, that square. It's on a big square down there. That's pretty big. Do you just want to look for corrosion? Is that? Yeah, like, I'm just yeah. looking if it's like completely. Apart. You know, so how they sometimes swell up from rust. Yeah. Let's see if those bolts are completely gone or not. I don't. I think they should be since. Oh, these are kind of weird. Clams? Uh, zoom, zoom there? No, those are anemones. Uh, I think it's where the feet. Just watch, oh, the watch, feet? watch your route, watch your stills camera, you're kind of in there. Thank you. Yeah, you see the stills cam? Oh, yeah. I don't know how far you, you would be able to know. I think we're clear of it, but I think those bolts, because they're galvanized, seem to have held up well compared to the frame. It would be possible to, once you're steady to get a zoom in on that. Yep. Zoom there, Ed. Go on in. Holding. Looks pretty good. I mean, as far as, far as visual inspection goes, okay. There's there's Coming not out. much we want to still investigate beyond just the cable where Hopefully it's going, like. but.